What is up guys, Steven here. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, bringing you a replay of an OU match game I had last night against Taesung. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty good friend of mine on on Showdown. Uh, he was in SPL and also was number one on the ladder for a while, so uh, he's a really good player and I, I like playing him. Uh, we just had a, a fun match last night and it turned out to be a really good one. Uh, so I figured uh, I would I would show y'all. Um, looking at his team, uh, basically it's full of threats, and uh, I I really thought he was gonna lead with uh, Raikou. I was fairly certain uh, he would try to lead with that and get momentum early against Politoed. Uh, so I led with Excadrill. Uh, he actually leads with Ferrothorn, which isn't good for me. And I just get on my rocks turn one as he power whips me. And now expecting a uh, rocks or leech seed, I just EQ as he leech seeds me. And again, expecting rocks or leech seed, I go into Keldeo to keep offensive pressure as he leech seeds me. And I'm just gonna fire off a powerful secret sword, uh, choice specs, and his mandibuzz takes that really well. So I have to switch here, and I figure now is as good a time as any to get up my rain as he defogs my rocks away. He reveals U-turn, which is actually really cool, and I just fish for a Scald Fern and don't get it. Um, predicting him to, to Leech Seed on a switch, I try to burn him again as he actually just power whips me. So this time I really expect him to Leech Seed, so I try once again to get a burn. Still don't get it. Um, and now since I'm Leech Seeded, I figure I can Encore him into Leech Seed. Um, at this point, I just want to try to put more offensive pressure on his team, so I switch directly into Pinsir as he goes into Raikou. Um, expecting him to predict me to switch, I stay in and Earthquake him as regular Pinsir, and then predicting him to switch, I Sword Stance as a Mega Pinsir. Um, basically his only option here is to sack something and he ends up sacking his Raikou as it doesn't really have too much of a point uh, anymore at 5%. Uh, he brings in Terrakion as I go into Politoed. He misses Stone Edge and then reveals to me that he's not choiced uh, by changing moves and close combating me. He is actually Life Orb. Uh, here I go into Keldeo. Um, faking that I am Scarf and go for the Secret Sword and just annihilate that incoming Ferrothorn. Uh, he, he then switches into Scolipede, which is a problem, and he poison jabs me. And uh, expecting him to go into Ferrothorn uh, to kill me with Iron Barbs, uh, I actually double into Keldeo. And since the rain is up, uh, Scald, Spec Scald uh, kills everything on his team, so I have no reason to do anything other than click Scald, uh, he misses the double protect, which would have really put me at a disadvantage. He goes into Gardevoir, and uh, as I go into Aegis Slash and eat it up, and at this point I've been double switching a lot, so I choose to stay in and, uh, and Shadow Ball, and uh, wow, I did big damage to that Gardevoir. And I try to finish him off with the Shadow Sneak, uh, that didn't really work out for me. And uh, no one can, can't really do much other than roost or or foul play. I just go for the king shield. And uh, here he definitely out predicts me. I predicted the foul play, and he U turns again, getting momentum and going into Gardevoir. Uh, but unbeknownst to him, I'm actually specially defensive, so I eat up that hyper voice and kill him. Um, so at this point, um, I, I basically needed to to prevent him from going into uh, into Mandibuzz. Um, looking at, at my team at this point in the game, I figured uh, it would come down to uh, it, it would have to come down to a speed tie with my Keldeo against his Terrakion. Um, so I'm going to go into Excadrill and uh, as he, as he then goes into Terrakion, and he just takes me out. So now I go into Keldeo, 
and I lose the speed tie. I was just gonna go for Scald, and because that would kill everything on his team. So now I sack Rotom uh, to lower his defenses more with the close combat, knowing he wouldn't want to risk a Stone Edge miss. So I get to to quick attack him there, and my my only hope here is a crit with frustration, and then a crit with Shadow Sneak. Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, that does not happen, and uh, as we as we all know, uh, Mandibuzz basically walls Age of Slash, so, you know, he's just having a little fun here, goes into Scolipede for the win. I was curious as to how much a uh, Scolipede Earthquake would do to Age of Slash, so I just stay in here and go for Shadow Ball as as he actually knocks me out. Uh, so yeah, that was that was a really fun game, and uh, you know, like it if if you like the video, and uh, subscribe, and see you next time.